nearly 20 years after he was beaten, tied to a fence, lit on fire and left for dead, Matthew Shepard's remains were interred Friday at the Washington National Cathedral. His family waited two decades to lay Shepard to rest. We've worried about vandalism or defacing wherever he might be if it was public knowledge. This is absolutely perfect because it's safe, it's secure, it's open to everyone who wants to go in some aspect. Uh, it's a place we think Matt would love to be. Shepard's funeral service was open to the public, but his interment in this tomb alongside deaf and blind icon Helen Keller was private. Voice of America toured Shepard's final resting place earlier in the week. There is no way to, to understate the importance of, of Matthew coming home here. Bishop Gene Robinson was the first openly gay Episcopal bishop. He's a friend of the family, and it was with his help that the National Cathedral welcomed Shepard's remains. He carried Shepard's ashes and led Friday's ceremony. The vast majority of pain that gay and lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people have experienced has been at the hands of the church, the synagogue, and the mosque, in the name of religion. And I hate to say it, but in God's name. And that's what really, really makes me crazy. Because God never gets it wrong and the church often does. Then President Bill Clinton condemned Shepard's 1998 murder as a hate crime, a legal designation that did not include sexual orientation before Shepard's death. Crimes of hate and crimes of violence cannot be tolerated in our country. In our shock and grief, one thing must remain clear. Hate and prejudice are not American values. Hundreds attended Friday's ceremony, but the Shepherd family was in Washington earlier this week donating some of Matthew's belongings to the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. It represents the entire country, and uh, our hope is that this will encourage uh, changes so that everyone is accepted for who they are, especially the LGBTQ community. No one in America should ever be afraid to walk down the street holding the hands of the person they love. In 2009, President Barack Obama signed a law making it a federal crime to assault an individual because of sexual orientation or gender identity. It was named in part for Matthew Shepard. In the years since Shepard's death, hate crime protections expanded in the United States. Gay marriage was legalized, and LGBTQ Americans can now openly serve in the military. Matthew Shepard's final resting place in the National Cathedral and exhibit in the Smithsonian will serve as protected places where others can visit him without fear of the violence that claimed his life in 1998. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.